My name is Carrie Grace Latour, and I am a lay parishioner at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Seattle, Washington, on the traditional territories of the Duwamish people. I am pleased to hold a space today for contemplation and prayer and silence in the spirit of the Tizé community in France. I am joined by Kester Limner and Andy Myers, also parishioners here at St. Andrews, um, who have recorded lovely music for us um, according to the Tizé um, original compositions. So we thank them for that, and I hope that wherever you are, you are able to take some time with us today to still center, pray, um, and seek presence in the holy. So find us a space, a quiet space. Feel free to light some candles um, and just enter in. I'll start us off with some readings today um, from two different Passages, one from Psalm and one from Isaiah. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink deep in mire where there is no foothold. I have come into deep waters, and the flood sweeps over me. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you.
Blessed be God, creator, redeemer, and spirit of love. And blessed be God's beloved community, now and forever. Grace to you and peace from God, our creator, the love at our beginning and without end, in our midst and with us now. God is with us. Here we find new life. For you I'm watching, waiting, hoping. For you I'm watching, waiting, hoping. For you I'm watching, waiting, hoping. For you I'm watching. Let us take a few moments now to move more deeply into silence and to resting in God.
Living spirit, whose breath gives life to the world and whose voice is heard in the soft breeze, we need your strength and wisdom. Come, breathe among us and within us. Gather us with your whole creation as together we embody the transforming love of Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the And now a reading from Matthew. Peter answered, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat started walking on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt?
who mourn them, for those who are sick or afraid. for justice here in America and in other countries around the world, for refugees turned away, for the people who have been killed, silenced, or imprisoned by oppressive regimes. Oh Lord, we pray. parents who work so hard to care for their children, for the children who have been neglected or abandoned, for the families who are trying their best, even when their best doesn't seem good enough, for families where love and grief are mixed together. Oh Lord, we pray, people who are unsure of their future and the future of the planet. who are raising up prayers and actions of hope for those who lay down their life to care for others. Oh Lord, we pray. Christians who create unity, for the seekers who are following your spirit. Oh Lord, we pray. Keep standing at the crossroads of history, for future leaders looking for the courage to step up, for those in high positions who must step aside and give away their power and wealth to follow you. Oh Lord, we pray. For our 
our hearts and minds that they may be tuned to your voice. Be our guiding light even through the storm. Oh Lord, we pray. Keep this time, I would invite you to offer your prayers, intercessions, thanksgivings at this time. If you have candles, please feel free to light them. And let us pray together the Lord's Prayer from New Zealand and Maori. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trial too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And in closing, I'd like to read an excerpt from the church mother and mystic, Catherine of Siena. You, O eternal Trinity, are a deep sea into which the more I enter, the more I find, and the more I find, the more I seek. O abyss, O eternal Godhead, O sea profound, what more could you give me than yourself? God's grace, unsought and unearned, blows through my life, and all I need to do is raise my sails to catch the full wind.
to forgive and God will be with you. God is forgiveness. Love and do not fear. Thank you for joining us today. And now a blessing for the journey and ascending forth in peace. The peace of the living Christ be always with you. Let us go forth bearing God's peace to the world. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.